The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour, with your host, David White. Now, the author of The Path of Least Resistance and The Tech Insider, David White. And as we start another wonderful edition, the January 3rd edition, I think this is going to be extra special edition. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, it is the January 3rd edition of the Power Trading Hour with your humble and lovable and squeezably soft host, David White. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to have a nice day here at the headquarters for technical trading and investing. It's TFNN.com. Uh, going to get to uh, what today is. Uh, market's down about two points on the S&P cash right now. Uh, I suspect that this uh, market right now wants to go down and test uh, 1448. And I think maybe we get that test tomorrow uh, morning or early in the day tomorrow. And that's going to tell us a lot. Uh, normally when you get such nice bounces uh, of short covering, uh, they tend to hold them up for about three days. Uh, if you don't get another sign of strength in three days, uh, normally a false breakout, a uh, little less virulent than uh, what could be a gap down or a significant gap down tomorrow and uh, leave us with uh, some kind of abandoned baby uh, formation. Of course, uh, we didn't get that today. Uh, that suggests that uh, normally you come back uh, to the first level of support uh, in the uh, rally, and that would be about like 1448, 1450, so maybe 10 points down. Uh, seeing a lot of stocks out there, in fact, uh, my newsletter today was 55 pages. There were so many stocks. I suspect we're probably going to get a great deal more again tonight. Uh, but every night I go through uh, 5,000, uh, 5,200 stocks, something like that, uh, and run my own custom scans on it. Uh, today, that uh, 55 pages was chock full of uh, regular ch uh, stocks testing highs on lighter volume, that kind of stuff, and also Gartley patterns. We're going to look through some of those in the back half of the show. Uh, as always, you, you can go to the front page of TFNN and uh, use some of those Tiger dollars to uh, subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, I have uh, my own model portfolio, uh, but every day I put in uh, you know, 10, 20 uh, charts. Uh, this was a huge bonus addition uh, because uh, so many stocks were making uh, signals uh, over the last two days. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into that a little bit. Today is January 3rd. It is a Drinking Straw Day. This celebrates the invention and patenting of the paraffin-covered paper drinking straw by Marvin C. Stone. Of course, today they're all plastic. My, per, uh, my personal favorite are the colored ones, and uh, not that not being racist, but the colored ones with the little flexible elbows out there. And uh, those little elbow straws... You wouldn't think that it would cost that much more to buy the elbow straws. So why don't you uh, get, especially at this cost that it, uh, McDonald's has, so why do you only get straight straws at Burger King? I bet it is because uh, probably people would take them and take them home. At this rate, people don't buy them and take them home. But what kind of a world would we live in without uh, bendy, bendable straws? So uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, you know, got uh, a little bit more of the fiscal cliff stuff rolling off here. More people are figuring out exactly what we agreed to. Uh, of course, we had to pass it to find out what's in it. Uh, but uh, every day now is rolling out a little bit more information of uh, what actually was agreed to. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised at the first paycheck. Uh, but uh, I think we've got about a week to go before people start figuring out that uh, they have, uh, you know, 4% here, 3% there, uh, $750 in more Social Security uh, on the average. Uh, it's going to be a big deal out there. Uh, we continue to see uh, some things out on the horizon. Iran, Israel, uh, river closings. I actually have an update on that. And uh, they're saying now it would probably be uh, maybe two more days to, 15, uh, to the 15th of the month where they're going to end up closing the river. It had a little bit of snow out there and that uh, will leave uh, the Mississippi open for a few more days. But apparently there's uh, like a very shallow area of uh, uh, the Mississippi somewhere around Cape Girardeau which is the 
uh, bottom right-hand corner of Missouri, uh, goes into Arkansas and uh, back down around uh, Kentucky. Uh, but uh, there's some very shallow shoals in there. And uh, even uh, running what they do now, which is just filling the barges halfway full uh, so that they don't uh, have as much draft, uh, there's rocks in those shoals. And uh, the uh, Corps of Engineers is very afraid that they're going to get somebody going over those with an overloaded uh, uh, barge and basically clog up the whole mess for a long time. So I continue to look at that. Of course, uh, we're going to be talking about debt limits and raising the debt limit here. Uh, the China problem still going on. So I haven't heard much about that. Uh, probably the biggest thing is we started hearing about it uh, yet late yesterday and today, and that is uh, uh, most of the rating agencies are talking about down grading, uh, down grading our uh, debt. And uh, they've at least come out and said that they're, we're on double secret probation now, just like a old animal house. Double secret probation. Uh, better do something about that debt or we're going to downgrade you. Unclear when those uh, debt downgrades are probably going to happen, but my guess is that in the next uh, 60 days, thinking that we're probably not going to do anything on the debt deal uh, with uh, Bonner getting uh, reelected as Speaker of the House today, doesn't look like a whole lot's going on. Nothing new in the China stocks delisting. Haven't heard a word. Uh, but those are things that uh, everybody should be looking at. Even if you're bullish, uh, there are some uh, issues out here uh, to be worried about. And uh, if you're long, you're probably uh, pretty happy about it. I just wouldn't be long very many China stocks right now. Uh, probably wouldn't be uh, long barge companies. And uh, you need to be some fast fingers if you're probably going to be in the... Uh, in the uh, stocks, uh, the rail stocks, on whether that river uh, gets uh, uh, those uh, gets closed or not. Uh, one of the other things I did notice is, uh, and we talked about it before, is uh, natural gas. Natural gas again uh, having some issues today. Uh, let me pop up U and G real quick. See how it's uh, trading. Um, you know we're off another percent out here. <clears throat> again, we need about four weeks of decidedly lower uh, uh, temperatures uh, across probably most of the uh, inclement part of the nation. It uh, doesn't look like we are uh, getting any of that. Uh, off another you know, 17 cents, which is about a percent. Uh, but back into the $18, probably should be in some level of support. Uh, but if we can get about four weeks of uh, drawdown on natural gas, maybe we'll actually finally uh, start finding uh, some support for natural gas. But uh, this may take actually into next year now um, because uh, normally by March uh, that drawdown for heating uh, and using natural gas for heating is going to come off a whole lot. Right now uh, there's just nowhere to store it and uh, as long as that uh, that's around we're probably going to see pressure on natural gas for a while. Uh, starting to see a lot more articles uh, if you're involved in technology. Uh, the next oh, probably 10 days will, will be the busiest for me. Uh, technology, uh, press releases, that kind of stuff. Uh, still has a uh, high bias uh, to showing these things at the Consumer Electronics Show, which is January 8th through the 11th next week. Uh, but be uh, very, you know, just understand that there's uh, at least... Uh, for the next week, a lot of these technology companies are going to be driven by news out of a consumer electronics show. Probably not as near, you know, 20 years ago uh, would have been massive news, uh, but uh, a little less massive now. But, uh, just keep an eye on next week. I'm already starting to see uh, press releases and uh, leaks about the OL, uh, organic light emitting diode technology for TVs. Everybody's talking about what are called the 4K TVs. And they don't uh, even sell for 4K. They sell for about 10K. Uh, but these are ultra-high resolution, not HD resolution. Uh, they're basically 4,000 lines or four times the resolution of your current HD set uh, if it's a 1080p. Uh, so uh, just keep an eye on that. Uh, we talked about uh, natural gas. Uh, Nook sales uh, from Barnes & Noble. Uh, looks like uh, it's going to be the next uh, tablet on the ash heap of history. Uh, they came out uh, last night and said that uh, the Nook device sales got off to a good start over Black Friday period, 
but then fell short of the expectations for the balance of the holiday, said Ban- Barnes & Noble CEO William Lynch. Never have enough Lynch. Uh, and uh, just to finish up, uh, one of my favorite shows is The Soup. Uh, it's probably the only show worth watching on the E! Entertainment Channel. Uh, most of it's uh, for uh, a lot of people that uh, read The Inquirer, I have a feeling. Uh, but uh, So I don't have to watch all those horrible reality shows. They watch them for us. And I forgot about this, but I had seen it midsummer, and I just never brought it up. But if you want to see an interesting video, uh, and because he was on today, uh, just uh, very interesting, he was on CNBC. Uh, Henry Blodgett, for those that haven't been around uh, since the dot-com bubble in 2000, uh, was basically excommunicated from ever trading again uh, as a uh, professional trader or trading anybody else's money. Uh, he had plenty of money and cash, but uh, basically did not go to jail. He ended up coughing up about $4 million. He was pretty famous for writing uh, one thing uh, internally to his company and lying out his uh, uh, <clears throat> rear end on the other uh, about the future and uh, capability of companies and what was going to happen. So uh, kind of the original guy uh, that got caught with his hands in the cookie jar as an analyst saying one thing and doing another, at least internally in his company. Uh, so I think it ended up being a $2 million fine and a $2 million disgorgement of money made, uh, famous for saying Amazon would get to 1000 one day. Uh, it did and split adjusted. Uh, but uh, he continues to be the guy out there giving lots of information. Anyway, if you uh, Google Henry Blodgett on the Today Show, The Soup, it's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. I just have to say that. This actually happened midsummer. Uh, but Matt Lauer, who's I'm not one of the favorite guys, at least went to the trouble of Googling Henry Blodgett to find out who he was and what he did. And instead of coming on the show as a nice guest, uh, they basically said, uh, and here's Henry Blodgett, the disgraced insider trader on the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, if you're watching on Tiger TV, he had this nice smile to begin with and uh, certainly turned to a frown after uh, Matt Lauer basically read all the stuff. But uh, this guy is pretty active now on CNBC and some of the other uh, entertainment uh, news sites. He's got a thing called the Business Insider. Uh, not a bad uh, blog out there of uh, news in business, but uh, uh, this is kind of classic because he starts off being the wonderful guest, only to be called a thief and a robber by Matt Lauer. And uh, watch his uh, face go from that smile to, uh, uh, boy, I'd throw a knife in your heart if I could get one, Matt Lauer. Uh, pretty neat. But anyway, you can go check that out. Henry Blodgett on the Today Show slash The Soup. You'll find that YouTube thing. It only runs about 30 seconds, but it's pretty hysterical. You probably ought to know who he is and Google him uh, to find out what he's done in the past if you are going to take uh, any kind of information from him. 877-927-6648. 877-927-6648 is my number. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportions of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what an asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Wealth Management financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Wealth Management, LLC. Member SIPC. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Millionaires are made every day. The fact is, living your dreams is possible. Someone, somewhere is going to get rich. My recommendation is, let that be you. Each day, someone is making the decision to better themselves and creating a plan to fulfill their financial dreams. Let that be you. The key to turning dreams into reality is to take massive action. Let that be you. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Master Show with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN. And I can help you with your journey to great wealth. I'll show you how to create the ultimate financial edge, a set of tools, insights, and strategies that are part of my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. You'll have direct access to me by phone, email, and my private library of trading and investing secrets for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. I'll take your trading to the next level. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and turn your dreams into reality. Mastering Probability, folks. Let that be you. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back, a uh, little bit more news out here. Google, uh, and I was uh, in the uh, transit uh, coming out here, doesn't look like it mattered a whole lot. Uh, I think everybody was probably already figured, uh, but uh, I talked about it, eh, what, probably a week ago on the Tech Insider uh, Hour with uh, Tom O'Brien, that is, that the FTC was going to let Google off the hook on the search competition case, and I just wanted to check this to see, now that we're seeing some articles, this actually came out about 1 o'clock. Uh, Google's pretty much doing the exact same thing uh, that the rest of the market has done, uh, but, uh, you know, just basically that... Uh, uh, what, uh, 14, uh, 7.38, December 17th high is going to be uh, the resistance, yeah, 7.38. At the 7.31 today, uh, you know, could we see a lot of these little stocks out here starting to uh, uh, pressure the rest of the market? We can. Again, I said uh, just how many stocks uh, that we were going through, um, and uh, just a ton of stocks uh, testing previous highs. Uh, Young International was one. Again, uh, I had like, you know, they're probably close to 45 this morning in the newsletter of stocks that it were uh, probably, you know, giving some kind of decent signal of a change in direction. Yong International, Y-O-N-G was one. Uh, this one, you know, nice test of the previous high out here. Uh, that high uh, occurred on October 15th, $5.88, 3.7 million shares. We got into that with 2 million shares on January 2nd. Uh, and it's closed back below it, so 
got a lot of these stocks that uh, you know, not a bad looking uh, uh, a bad looking stock out here. Uh, but normally you want to see no high volume. Yes, well, a couple of days before we got a huge move in this thing of um, almost uh, what a buck and a half or so. Uh, but not influential. But uh, kind of looks like the market in general there. A lot of volume uh, and then not much more. Uh, emerging markets ETFs, another one that's uh, really up against a uh, high resistance now. Let me go back and look at a little longer chart here so you can see. Uh, there's a nice gap that goes back a, a few years. Uh, actually, this happened a uh, high volume down day uh, on uh, 8 4 of 2011 uh, with uh, 53 million shares in the emerging market ETF. Uh, that set up a gap that uh, is getting retested, but uh, again, on very light volume uh, comparatively uh, to that uh, what, 56 uh, million shares. Tried it again on February 29th, a wonderful day, because I was my mother bored me on that day, uh, February 29th. And then we get uh, January 3rd at uh, $54.54. Uh, so we'll look at this a little bit more. This w Oh, uh, yeah. What do we have for volume here? Just to make sure. Yeah, 40, 42 million shares. Not bad. Uh, so you can get kind of close on that. You need 56 by the end of the day uh, to get back into that gap and look like you're going to break it. Uh, so not so bad so far. But uh, yeah, we'll have to take a look at it. Uh, other stocks out here that would be of interest, uh, maybe stocks starting to break out. And actually, not a bad-looking breakout. I wish it came on a little bit better volume the last couple of days. Uh, but uh, you've had this Veridisc Analytics, uh, which has been a little rocket, uh, had a huge, nice move out here, and then went and consolidated for uh, a few months out here, what, five, six, seven months. Uh, this thing today uh, and yesterday uh, is... Not a bad looking chart out here. I'd like to see a lot more money uh, or a lot more volume, let me put it, of these previous highs. Uh, but uh, eh, there are some stocks out there starting to break down. Verisk Analytics, V R S K. Keep an eye on that one. UNP, which is unit, uh, Union Pacific. I suspect that uh, this is going to be one of the news driven stocks over the next few days. Uh, it's trying to get up over that high today. Uh, volume's probably going to be in line. So we want to be watching this UNP. But, of course, if they shut that uh, river down, then everybody's going to have to go rail and uh, probably going to be very good for the rails during the uh, winter months out here. UNP, Union Pacific Corporation. Uh, Constellation Brands, another one of these out here that's uh, been playing with the highs. Uh, this one looks like it's going to come back close back below. Constellation Brands, a uh, big retailer uh, of, uh, of a lot of different things. Uh, S T Z is the symbol. Uh, we had our last uh, major high. Oops. Had our last major high. Let me find it here again. October seventeenth, thirty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Three point five million shares. Uh, you had two point five million shares yesterday. Uh, got about half that so far, and it is closing uh, back in that trading range. Uh, I think we've got a lot of these stocks that are going to uh, uh, at least uh, kind of turtling or prairie dogging, sticking their little noggin out. And uh, they don't like it, they see their shadow and get right back in there. We'll be back in just a minute. We'll be looking at a lot more. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air, and you've seen him on Tiger TV, as well as being featured as a regular CNBC guest and contributor. And now you can have access to his expert trading advice each morning through his daily trading newsletter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading stocks, options, and indices every market day. Market Insights comes out each market day before 9.30 a.m. and provides Provides traders with Tom's daily commentary, opinion, and specific trade recommendations on the markets. Using advanced Fibonacci methods, volume indicators, Gartley patterns, candlestick charting, gaps, and market timing, Market Insights will give you specific trade recommendations including entry, stop, and exit prices. The summer is over and traders are back. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. 
If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intra-week trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of tfnn.com. As we come back, I'm looking at some of the stocks out here that are really moving. And uh, so far, uh, Checkpoint Software is probably the big loser in the NASDAQ 100 today. Uh, CHAP is the symbol. And uh, what do we have out here? Well, uh, not uncommon. Uh, we had a, uh, uh, yeah, it actually did come in, in uh, on lighter volume. Uh, but a good sell signal, CHKP is check barring software, was going into its September 14th high at $49.32, 5.2 million shares. Got into that yesterday with 1.5 million shares and uh, did its little dance on the catwalk, on the cat. Anyway, it's uh, come back uh, with a vengeance out here. Is that volume actually accurate? I got it, 2.6 million shares. So eh, I guess it's okay, uh, but uh, going to be uh, pretty tough out here. Look at Checkpoint uh, Monster Energy Drink MS. Uh, excuse me, M is in man. N is Nancy. S T uh, Monster Energy off uh, about three and it's three tenths percent. Uh, mostly on an article uh, in the New York Times about uh, aha the advertising is. Probably it doesn't work exactly that way. Uh, a came uh, is off uh, almost three percent. Let's take a look, quick look, and see what this thing's doing. Uh, yeah, another one that uh, looks like uh, could be setting up a false breakout. Uh, this thing has been making uh, 
highs, uh, probably the high volume high you want to look at is the October 25th high with 8.5 million shares. Uh, it's uh, got uh, last, what, eight trading days. Uh, tried to get above its uh, previous move. Uh, any close below probably about uh, eh, 40 bucks is going to be very bearish. Uh, this thing wants to come back and at least partially test a gap back down around that $37 range. Uh, so keep an eye on it. Uh, other stocks of interest out here, uh, Rock 10, R-K-T, uh, another one of these that uh, got blown apart on heavy volume. It's just now coming back on very light volume, uh, finishing uh, and trying to finish uh, closing a gap down. That gap down happened on November 2nd with uh, 3.8 uh, million shares last uh, couple of days as we've gotten back into that gap, uh, 745,000. Uh, probably going to be uh, less than that today. So uh, keep an eye on some of these. Uh, I want to go back and look at the market here quickly. Let's see. There we are. Got to get all my stuff organized. Uh, 1458 on the S&P. So we're uh, we probably just retested the uh, low of day already. That would be very interesting. But, I, again, we'll get in the S&P. But I think our first stop in this thing is going to be 1448 on the S&P cash. So 10 points lower out here. Uh, probably going to see that either before the close today uh, or tomorrow. And that's going to give us a good indication of that 1448 holds. Uh, then we're probably good for a breakout. Uh, if it goes below it, then this has probably been a false breakout. And uh, look for some real action because I think uh, a lot of shorts have uh, given up the ghost so far. Uh, Robert Half International. Let's take a little longer look at this one. Another one that's been uh, going through its gap. Uh, volume's not all that exciting so far. April 25th is the ma last major test uh, at $32.32. RHI is the uh, symbol on this one. Uh, and you've got a gap. It uh, looks like it needs, uh, oh, it goes back a long way. Uh, that is acted as resistance. Uh, it went down on about uh, 2.4 million shares that day. Uh, so probably won't take it that much to get through it. Uh, but you do see a good comparison with the April 25th high of $32.32, $4.3 million shares. And, uh, you know, we're into that with a million shares or so. Uh, one of the ones that kind of surprised me the most was Open Table. Uh, this was a high flyer up at 118 bucks on April 25th of 2011. Uh, we're getting back into this. Let me get a six month or out here. Uh, this thing's another one that's trying to climb out of the uh, uh, resistance levels, but uh, not a whole lot of volume on it so far. Uh, this one actually, I think, I don't know if this thing is going to set up. Uh, let's take. Yes, I figured it was. There was a Gartley in this open table. Uh, this one is uh, just a hair over its high out here. Uh, went to a high of a 1.35 retracement uh, up here today at uh, $53.92. This is a bearish butterfly. Uh, you have a few things that are in there that's nice. Uh, if you can see it, that's a 1.9 on the down leg and a 1.2 on the up leg from a power law vector indicator. A uh, pretty good indication that you did uh, have a nice move out here. Uh, there wasn't a lot of volume in this thing. Uh, the other thing you want to check and see is how it broke uh, the previous high. Uh, did it do it with uh, increasing volume? The September 14th high uh, had uh, 580,000 shares. Last two days, 650,000 shares. Uh, we'll wait and see what we get for today. Uh, but uh, if you want to see a nice Gartley butterfly setup up here, uh, this thing pretty much... Uh, Overshot this morning. Uh, Going to probably close around uh, a little over 52 bucks today. Uh, but uh, yeah, good one to start taking a look at. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, oh, it's corning. Uh, we've been, uh, this one's been riding on the uh, heels of a uh, lot of other companies uh, that have been in the uh, uh, retail housing uh, space. Uh, OC is a symbol on it. Uh, this is, and a lot of other these other housing stocks look like they've made at least a short-term high over the last couple of days. Uh, March 19th is the last major high on this at 38 bucks, 2.4 million shares. And what did we have yesterday? About 1.5 eh, 
1.5 million shares. So uh, probably got to come in with that uh, lighter than that. And uh, if you come back and uh, close back under a lot of these, uh, going to be a continuing uh, uh, mini stocks out here that uh, basically had false breakouts. Uh, North uh, Fork Southern, another one of these companies that came down on heavy volume. Uh, this one may have a better than average chance if they do shut down the Mississippi River. So you may want to keep an eye on this one. NSC is a symbol on it. Uh, came down with heavy volume on the 24th of October, uh, about 11.5 million shares. Uh, it's back in that today uh, with a very light volume. Uh, right? Yeah, maybe probably going to end up with about 20% of that gap down volume. Uh, so look for this one to come into major resistance over the next few days. Microsoft, uh, this one, of course, uh, got slammed down with the rest of the bad babies. Uh, it's been kind of bouncing back and forth, uh, but uh, this one, eh, not a lot of signals in it. Uh, what else do we have? Market Vectors, uh, Moo, which is agribusiness uh, ETF. This thing is right up at the highs. And I'm wondering, uh, you know, just how much about uh, getting grain to market is going to be an issue. Uh, but uh, this one is another one up here at these highs. So I'd be uh, very wary of any in this particular sector, which is agribusiness. But the symbol is MOO. Uh, but you've got uh, a major high February 29th this year, $53.69, 1 million shares uh, over the last couple of days. I did shoot up a uh, decent volume a couple of days ago, 680,000 shares. But just 300,000 shares yesterday, not a lot more out here to actually take a look at. In semiconductor space, another one that got blown apart has come back into that resistance level, and it's going to tell you a lot. I think it's already told you that today. KLAC, uh, this thing has gotten back into a heavy uh, down day, which was uh, uh, September 19th. Uh, came down with 6.3 million shares on a very uh, nice gap down. We've been playing with that uh, over yesterday and today, but 1.8 million shares yesterday, 1.6 million shares today. Uh, but it looks like it's going to close back into that trading range and uh, be at least rebuffed out here. Again, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648, 877-927-6648. Uh, we'd love to have your phone call. And I'd love to have a drink because I'm going to have to have one here. Jack Henry and Associates. Uh, that is uh, J-K-H-Y. Uh, that uh, symbol of another one up here testing these highs. Uh, nice volume yesterday, uh, but we are going against the November 1st high uh, of $40.71, uh, almost a million shares. Uh, got uh, you know, 550000 yesterday. Going to come in, again, much lighter. This thing's probably going to doji out on it, uh, so we're going to keep an eye on Jack Henry. And, of course, uh, some of the other clo men's clothing stocks if uh, this thing gives a signal, probably want to be looking at those also. Uh, the small cap uh, uh, iShares uh, uh, Fund Index, IJR, uh, another one that's given kind of a, a sickly signal, uh, testing its previous high. Uh, the IJR, uh, when you look at it, you want to be looking at the September 14th high, $80.60, 3.7 million shares uh, against the, uh, what, uh, we get 1.7 million shares yesterday. I'm going to be very light today uh, by the close. So uh, continue keeping an eye on a lot of these stocks out here, giving fairly clear signal. Uh, just off uh, two and a half points on the S&P right now. Uh, could we hang up here another day? I think we could. But if we don't get some kind of rally with a sign of strength tomorrow, uh, the odds increase of a false breakout. Uh, chart Industries, GTLS, another one of these that came down heavy volume. Uh, we're back up into that gap now. Uh, that uh, gap down happened on uh, November 1st. Uh, we came down with about uh, 2.1 million shares. I've uh, been in this uh, yesterday with 365,000, 161,000. So, again, a lot of stocks out here uh, back challenging uh, these huge volume gap days down uh, as they try to get back and fill those gaps uh, over a a little bit of time. Uh, one of the other ones I think is probably the architect for a lot of these filling these high volume uh, uh, down days uh, is Fossil, of course, the watch uh, company. Uh, FOSL, uh, this thing came down with monster volume. Been trying to come back and fill that. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, over the last uh, three attempts, September 14th, uh, 7 million shares. When you get to the November 6th, uh, excuse me, November 2nd high, uh, you got 1.2 million shares and uh, very light volume out here today and yesterday, 800 million shares yesterday, uh, giving you an idea that uh, this thing is up there. Uh, Equinix, uh, EQIX, uh, another one that looks like it may be making a false breakout. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive stock out here. Uh, EQIX is the symbol, uh, but what I'm keying off is the September 13th high, 20, or excuse me, $212, even uh, 6.3 million shares over the last couple of days as we've gone through this high, 1 million shares. So, uh, like I said, this is probably the biggest newsletter I've had uh, in uh, probably about four or five months, uh, and a lot of these uh, giving signals out in the marketplaces. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a few others and see whether or not uh, what we've got out here. We were talking about uh, uh, the uh, the sector, the housing sector, maybe giving a uh, short-term sell signal out here. Uh, Bree Properties (BRE) is a uh, uh, one in that particular sector. I uh, might be keeping an eye on this, mostly because uh, uh, you had it break above its uh, B point on lighter volume. Uh, but uh, nice little Gartley setting up here. Your X point uh, starts on July 17th. At fifty three, uh, is that fifty three or fifty? Yeah, fifty three dollars and thirty one cents. Uh, you get into your A point uh, with uh, get up here on October fifteenth. Uh, but what I'm looking at is a C point, or excuse me, the B point on November seventh. Uh, fifty dollars and ninety two cents, one point five million shares, uh, and that's what we're breaking through right now. Uh, but not a bad looking little uh, chart. Uh, we went about a dime higher than the. D target for just a standard Gartley pattern. Uh, so fairly decent uh, risk and reward uh, if these markets start moving back a little bit uh, as we uh, come. Commercial metals, uh, this thing has uh, made a good little signal. And again, you would have had all these on your desk by about uh, 9.10 this morning, 9.15, in uh, about 55 to go through uh, uh, these stocks that were probably uh, the best, but had a lot of Gartley patterns today, uh, which is uh, rather rare. Uh, this one is a butterfly for commercial metals. Uh, not the probably the prettiest one out here, but a good indication of uh, what's happening. What you wanted to see is this thing break above with higher volume, uh, and that you are keying off the 1.4 million day for the B point. Uh, you had uh, 1.9 million, so you had volume yesterday. Uh, it did break out, but what you didn't have is a uh, follow-up. Uh, one of the things I like Ken bringing up so much on his show after mine each day is that, that rule from IVD, which is you want to see uh, three or four uh, days up and start seeing, you know, in the whole market, uh, volume and movement. So far we've had, eh, maybe you could count Friday, but it'd be kind of tough to say that you've got to be uh, ready to be on the long side uh, and very bullish here. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of these stocks are uh, giving nice reversal signals so far today. We will be back in a minute again. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Let me tell you something, folks. I I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to Mastering Probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. As we discussed, uh, found a lot of uh, Gartley patterns showing up uh, in the housing sector. And uh, if you put it together with my power law vector indicator and some other things, it uh, looked like we've got... Uh, some at least uh, short-term highs maybe in this uh, property market. Camden Property Trust, CPT, uh, one of these ones that actually is uh, uh, breaking its B point today in its uh, Gartley, uh, Ferris Gartley pattern. Uh, pretty nice setup and a pretty good uh, look of what you want to see in a, uh, uh, a chart. One of the things I like to point out, uh, the, the uh, uh, guys that uh, do the... Uh, trying to remember the name of the thing. I normally badmouth it when I do just because they say, no one can ever say that you're in wave A or B or C until you've already been through it. <clears throat> Not, uh, uh, eh, I'll think about it in a minute. Uh, but one of the things they do have right out uh, in the markets is a thing called the rule of alternation. Uh, and that is uh, that uh, normally if you have a a market that has a very clean line that uh, normally the major move before it will be kind of uh, herky-jerky. A good example of that is uh, kind of almost a sine wave down to the A point on October 15th on Camden Press. Uh, and then uh, uh, you break again the highs, you get up to the target. Uh, this thing came within uh, 27 cents. Uh, making a nice little doji out here today also. 
but a lot of these stocks uh, broke uh, the highs on lighter volume. Uh, November 2nd high uh, in CPT was uh, just about a million shares. Of course, you got 420,000, 260,000 so far today. So probably going to come in with lighter again, uh, plus a nice little doji out here to give you a, a neat little clue. <coughs> Another one that's kind of hyperextended, uh, like a knee on a, on a running back that's been in the uh, NFL for about 10 years, uh, is Harley Davidson. A uh, lot of these have been on subprime loans, and I suspect that at least in this Harley Davidson area, you're going to see those subprime loans, uh, just like the car business, start to uh, pull back a little bit uh, in this year. I think a lot of that was pushed by the government to uh, get the market looking good this year. Uh, but Harley-Davidson, HOG, uh, nice Gartley patterns, kind of did its extension. Uh, it proved that it wanted to come back into that range today. Uh, not the most bearish of uh, stocks out here, uh, but uh, looking fairly hyperextended, at least in my opinion. Uh, but uh, nice Gartley pattern. Uh, starting uh, with the July 10th high for your X point uh, at uh, $47.62. Uh, your August uh, 1st sets up your A at uh, $37.84. Your B point comes in on September 18th at $46.55. 2.2 million shares. Uh, you get down and, of course, lighter volume. Uh, now, why do I show this chart even though it's probably the, not the bad? baddest looking chart. It's because of that huge volume down day uh, on August 1st. That 37.84 uh, has been hanging out there. Uh, it did not get tested and I suspect you're going to probably get back into that range a whole lot more than you did on the uh, C point on October 3rd. So uh, continue uh, watching some of these out here. Uh, KKD. I was watching this one. almost played it and uh, uh, kind of uh, Upset that I missed it, but uh, uh, this thing, yeah, we'll take a look at another one. Uh, uh, we have time. Yeah, probably have run out of time. Anyway, hang on. Uh, we've got Ken directly after me, and then uh, the great one, Tom O'Brien, between the four and six hour out here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, Tech Insider Hour, with Tom O'Brien tomorrow afternoon. Y'all have a safe and wonderful day, and thank you all for listening.